and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your daily reading for the 19th of March 2022 and yeah interesting energy for today. I do feel like the that full intense full moon energy is starting to uh, shift but also there is a, you know on the 19th there is a conjunction between Mars and Neptune and this is interesting energy because Mars is the planet of wanting to motivate and do something and Neptune's the planet of blurriness and vagueness. So you can kind of put those two together the 10 of pentacles we're looking at you know something pretty solid here there's potentially an exit plan that you're working on here uh, so maybe you wanted to get away from something that has been quite stable the four of swords is that uh, to really take some time out to think about this no rush uh, you might need a little bit of a rest or to just so go somewhere to clear your head like I said sometimes with the Mars and Neptune energy it can cloud what it is that you think you want it can sometimes create like um, this veil of you think this is what you want but then it, it um, you know they move away from each other and you're like that really wasn't right um, the five of wands so yeah there's a little there potentially is conflict over in your mind because there may have been this sense of this is where I want to move to but there's some sense of conflict starting to come up from the deep that you need to work through the queen of cups energy so this is kind of just going internal. And again, we've got this death card, which is kind of saying, yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> the full moon saying that that energy of transformation and change is still here. Uh, so it's kind of like where you might have got some clear messages in there and then it's starting to get a bit muddled or starting to get a little bit foggy. Um, could have got some clear messages around the moon. But uh, ultimately it's just saying go within today, go in, check in with yourself, look after yourself, uh, be the Queen of Cups, be this Queen of Cups energy, uh, which is nurturing yourself, looking after yourself, even doing something special for yourself because some of you might feel a little bit funky with this energy or just a little bit lost and confused. So it's sort of like go for a, a nice walk on the beach or um, have a nice bath or just do something nice that's kind of healthy and good for you at this moment in time. Don't worry if you don't, the path is not necessarily so clear right at this minute in time. Yes, there's, you kind of got this sense of wanting to move on from something, but then where you're moving to is just a feeling a bit like not sure at this moment in time. We still have the death card, which is saying, yeah, this is all part of it. Like you can't stop this big change and transition. Something really big is shifting and transforming in your life. You cannot stop this process, even if you come across this energy that suddenly something no longer feels right or you're confused about something. The death card's saying it's we're still moving forward. This is a temporary situation, this sense of confusion or not sure about the motivation uh, you know, trying to kind of go a bit deeper. So the Four of Swords in the centre is really about taking some time out to get your head clear. Uh, it can mean that some of you need to get some good sleep. I don't know if the moon's been disrupting your sleep patterns. It has been with me. But, um, yeah, you might just need to I, – I kind of get you don't need to rush into anything at the moment in time just – there is some stories that might be coming up that you might be telling yourself and to kind of just go back and question them. Are these, tr is this true? Is this right? Is this, you know, um, you know, going back over some old ground here, it's very Mercury retrograde-ish kind of energy here. Um, and just don't worry if it's all a bit of a jumble at this moment in time, because it will clear. It is just part of what we're moving through. Again, it's just like uh, this sense of, um, this energy of the death card is just like poof, spirit is moving you through all this stuff and it's like part of you is just going, well, where am I? What What's happening? But there's no choice. Like you're just moving forward. It's just saying like that image that we had of walking through the jungle and it's hard but you just have to keep moving forward with some of these um, things that, you, that are coming up. And uh, the things that are coming up at this moment in time are things to do with what's going on inside your mind, inside of your thoughts, what sort of thought patterns or sabotage is coming up or um, doubts are coming up around some things and, yeah, what sort of conflicts might be coming up around that. And, yeah, maybe it's a sense of uh, going deep within and working out what's truly motivating you here. Uh, and so, but ultimately it's just saying, look after yourself, be gentle with yourself, okay, because this is a bigger energy and you don't have to solve it all in one day and it may shift and change um, exactly how you're feeling or what you're seeing and the answers that you're getting at this moment in time. So 
That's kind of the message from the day you are moving away from something big and solid into a sort of an unknown energy. But uh, yeah, I, I just feel like take it at face value and understand that some of these energies are illusionary or uh, just creating, uh, yeah, they can be creating this confusion in your mind as well. So that's it. <laughs> we are working with like a mixed bag of energies at the moment and it is kind of quite tricky to navigate through a lot of them. But it's just I think the best way is to kind of just uh, be aware that there's different things that are going to be pushing you and pulling you and you're working with these different energies and to, uh, yeah, just to kind of keep going with them, to be present with them um, and to try not to fight them too much um, but to allow them to kind of pass through you um, is sort of this energy. It's still this big process of elimination that's going on with this this full moon that's gone, that's come in and the death card is the Scorpio card. So, uh, yeah, that's it. But I would just say rest uh, and do something nice and be gentle with yourself and yeah, we'll see where the energy changes after this. So thanks for joining me and look forward to seeing you tomorrow.